All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking Cincinnati Bengals. They will be advancing to Buffalo after taking down the Baltimore Ravens late last night, 24 to 17. Joe Burrow now has the most playoff wins in Bengals franchise history with four. And uh, oh, by the way, he's 26 years old. So that was not a pretty football game. But when you play a team, a divisional team in the playoffs, you know, I mean, Baltimore's got a great defense. They're a solid team. Right, you got to give credit where credit is due. It wasn't a perfect, pretty football game. Sam Hubbard with the longest fumble recovery touchdown in playoff history. It was a crazy game. It really was. And I got to give props to Baltimore for going in with a backup quarterback. He did a fine job. That fumble really was the clincher, and uh, at the end of the day, in the playoffs, all that matters is winning. So welcome back to the channel. Obviously, we're talking about this Cincinnati Bengals game. If you guys want more, be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button. I cover the Bengals a couple times a week along with daily NFL videos. Bengals fans, if we could get this video to 250 likes, I would appreciate that very much, and I would love to hear from you guys down below. Now, a win is a win. That really is what I've gathered from this game. A win is a win. Yeah, the offensive line was not perfect. They gave up four sacks, but the defense continues to do what they need to do. They're, they're forcing turnovers all the time. Quaded the points last night, but defense wins championships. And at the end of the day, I'm just, I'm just taking a win. Right, I'm just taking the win. I'm really curious to hear what Bengals fans have to say about last night's game because, you know, once again, it's you're playing Baltimore for the third time this season. I don't care who's starting at quarterback. I don't care who's in for either team. Baltimore's going to give you a run for their money. You know, these are two teams that absolutely hate each other, as they should. Good rivalry football. Joe Burrow, he did what he had to do. All right? It wasn't anything crazy. 23-32, 209 yards, a touchdown. Still made the throws he needed to make. It was pretty crazy, though. You know, Baltimore had the lead going into halftime, 10 to nine, and it, it was just weird. You know, that Evan McPherson missed field, or missed extra points, sorry. That, that was, you know, it's it just wasn't Bengals it wasn't the Bengals' domination that I think a lot of us would like to see, but there was still plenty to be excited about, mainly on the defensive side. I know that they're working around you know, some injuries, particularly to the offensive line, but you know, as far as the offense is concerned, I have no fears. I actually cannot wait to see this Buffalo game. Uh, it, it's going to be a great football game. It's going to be in Buffalo. It's not going to be an easy game to win, but you could definitely argue the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals they're two of the hottest teams, not only in the AFC, but in the National Football League in general. Now, speaking of the offense, you know, Jamar Chase had a phenomenal game. It's so great. You know, I know Hayden's been back for a couple of weeks, but it's so great to have Hayden Hurst back. T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, anytime you have those four names, specifically in the wide receiver core, I'm, I'm not worried. And you know, the run game, 11 carries, 39 yards, while I would like to see, and I honestly kind of expect to see a little bit more Joe Mixon, probably, you know, around 15 carries, nothing crazy. I want to see more run in the football, but at the end of the day, Joe Mixon ended up with 11 carries, 39 yards. It's about 3.5 yards per carry. It's been a little bit iffy. Joe had that great game against Cleveland right when he came back from that concussion, and the Bengals' run offense hasn't necessarily been firing on all cylinders, but... It is what it is. You know, it is what it is. I'll take what I can get. And, um, yeah, it, it just is what it is. Joe Burrow also had a rushing touchdown, so he finished the day with two touchdowns uh, defensively. All right. Now, I don't know what, like, national media is saying because, once again, you're going up against Tyler Huntley, the backup quarterback. The Ravens ran the ball very successfully. They ended 35 attempts, 155 yards, about 4.4 yards per attempt. But Tyler Huntley also threw for two touchdowns. Did have that that fumble was amazing for the Bengals. Offensively, if I'm a Ravens fan, I'm definitely scratching my head, very confused by that because it, it it knocked the win out of them. You know that that basically to me clinched the game for the Cincinnati Bengals. But I, once again, I gotta give credit where credit is due. Now there's. You know, Jermaine Pratt, Logan Wilson, Jesse Bates, Eli Apple, B.J. Hill, Von Bell, Sam Hubbard. Like, 
Mike Hilton, DJ Reader, Cam Taylor Britt. Like, there are so many studs on this defensive side, and that's why I have the Cincinnati Bengals advancing past Buffalo. Now, we'll talk about all that later on in the week. You know, it's, it's just Monday afternoon here. Just going to enjoy that victory. And I guess, you know, Wild Card Weekend isn't officially over yet, but we'll talk about the Buffalo Bills heading into this upcoming week. But defensively, man, I just feel so confident about this team. You know, it's been a long time since the Cincinnati Bengals have lost a football game. And I know they weren't necessarily given, you know, all the best luck as far as I think they were, would have taken down the Buffalo Bills a couple of weeks ago. But obviously, you know, that game was unplayable. They didn't finish that game. They just suspended it as they should have. But I feel good. They looked great in those very brief drives offensively and defensively and I think the biggest thing for me is I mean once again I'm just not worried about that offense at all in any way shape or form even with a shaky offensive line defensively these guys force turnovers they force turnovers all the time and they're making plays they're getting these stops obviously they have a top six defense, arguably top five defense. They you know, dealt with some injuries towards the beginning of the season. But for the most part, they're very healthy, you know, specifically on that defensive side. But one of the reasons I feel so good is, you know, Josh Allen all season and just, you know, in general, he's prone to turnovers. You know, he's, he's prone to being the hero and forcing footballs, fumbling the football. And I just have full faith that the Cincinnati defense is going to be able to ap apply pressure and make Josh Allen play hero football. And I, I, my money's on the Bengals getting some defensive turnovers in this upcoming weekend. So that's really for today. Uh, once again, Bengals fans, I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say because I'm not on Bengals Twitter. I haven't made a Bengals video in a couple of days. So let me know what you guys are thinking about that game down below. As always, hit that like button, hit that sub button for more content. But yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say down below. Stay tuned for more preview stuff as we go through the rest of the week for Cincinnati. Peace.